and they function as the brain's kind of conductor. So if you think about an orchestra, um, which we're sadly lacking right now um, because of labor problems, um, however, if you think of an orchestra that has expert musicians, wonderful sections of strings and wind, woodwinds and brass and percussion and so on, but they don't have a conductor, then all you might get, despite these really, really skilled and beautiful individual sections, you're most likely, you know, you may just get noise or certainly won't be coordinated. Similar to that is the brain's executive center or executive skills that uh, essentially are our brain's manager. So this is the part of um, part of our uh, neurocognitive function, if you will, that uh, manages things like organizing, <coughs> prioritizing, getting started with stuff, focusing and sustaining attention on things, effort, regulating effort, persisting so you get finished with things, regulating of emotion, uh, whether or not you know you can um, you, you can manage frustration and modulate your emotions so that even though you may have a really strong um, sense of loss or happiness or joy or misery or whatever, you can still get up and do your job or go to school or whatever. Then there's memory, working memory, um, which is what enables us to take in new information and also retrieve old information so we can do tasks like solve math problems or write an essay or whatever. And then there's that action part, our ability to kind of have outside and to regulate, um, uh, to self-regulate knowing that, for example, that we need to be able to take two column notes and write summaries as a way to comprehend and remember information that we have in the class, which is one reason why study skills is such a useful thing for students to learn. Um, and again, rather than in the diagram, um, here are, um, in a more linear fashion, the uh, the executive functions that we deal with. And uh, so that these, uh, these particular <coughs> regulatory uh, functions are what make up executive function and these are the uh, these are the skills or qualities that are impacted when anyone has executive function difficulty. Now a lot of the time, you may very well have heard the term executive function, but oftentimes we hear it related to attention deficit disorder. Actually, executive function is impacted in uh, nonverbal NLD really just as much as it is in attention deficit disorder, <coughs> but it presents differently, you know. Uh, and again, not every one of these may be impacted. It may only be some of them. You know, some, uh, some people are maybe able to do a fine job regulating emotions, but they are so disorganized they can't, you know, they can't remember that the only reason they remember their head is that it's attached to their body, you know. Um, or again, Focus and attention is another big one that is really impacted a lot. But again, somebody may be able to um, self-regulate, you know, stay on time, whatever. Um, it just really depends on the individual. So what happens with NLD, the kind of challenges that someone with NLD will have will be, first of all, they, have, they may have difficulty working independently because they have a lot of trouble planning, prioritizing, and setting up something. 
to do, as you have to do when you're doing an independent project. Um, and then there's a difficulty, they may have difficulty solving problems, particularly in math, figuring out what's the, what are the most important things, uh, features, ideas, what's the key question in the math problem. Uh, also maintaining concentration in order to uh, in order to stick with these things. So there, there are likely to be some impulsive behaviors, like there are in in ADHD. But this, these impulsive behaviors may be in different, may be very look different and come from a different kind of kind of place than um, than in an individual with attention deficit disorder. Um, visual memory is very likely to be uh, impacted. So being able to remember, you know, someone may, you know, you may have been around the school time after time after time after time, but still, you know, it's the beginning of November and you still get lost getting to your English class because it's just confusing. Um, because you just don't remember where you turn and where you, you know, what floor you go up on and so on. Um, and and you may, this, this individual may appear, uh, may appear forgetful and just disorganized and that may be attributed to any number of things, willfulness, laziness, you know, uh, whatever. Um, so there may be behaviors that, uh, undesirable behaviors, or problematic behaviors that show up in an individual with NLD, but they're really, it's really coming from a whole lot of confusion with where they are in space, how to get around, how to organize and plan things. Uh, and be able to remember <coughs> so that they can do uh, learning routines and so on. Um, and I'm going to skip this one. Oops, I guess I'm not. And that's... <coughs> there we go. So, what do we mean when I'm going to hide that slide? <laughs> um, uh, visual spatial. What does that mean? Well, that means noticing details of things. Looking at, uh, being able to look at, um, be in a place, maybe in the woods or anywhere, and notice birds and leaves on trees and animals, you know, running around and various things, um, various things like that, um, that make up the whole scene. Rather, uh, someone with NLD is likely to just focus on one or two, one or two things, and completely miss other other features. You know, um, visual perception can be off, which is to say, uh, they may you know what to you looks like a very clear, like say, oh, let's say we have like a, a matrix or something, you know, or, or a topic web. Say we have a, you know, a um, top-down topic web, which is common and recommended these days. And so we have, a teacher wants person to know the main idea. And then find, you know, the find uh, the, or the, the topic, and then these are all the most important parts. This is taught common, common strategy, shown to be really effective. Well, if your visual perceptual field is off, that may not look very clear to you at all. In fact, you may be utterly confused by all those bubbles up there and the words in them and so on. And in fact, you are much better off if you can have the classic outline and so on. 
even though an awful lot of students find the whole outlining thing just like, you know, um, completely um, like Greek or something, whereas they love seeing ideas separated in the visual organizer. Um, so, um, this is one reason why we want to be sure that we have educational environments that value, that accept diversity and allow for different ways of presenting 